Hello students, welcome back to MathFee's Java Programming Tutorials. In this video, I'll explain binary search on string array. Let's see the contents. Introduction, important string methods used in binary search, binary search program on strings, difference between linear and binary search. Let's start. We already know the binary search algorithm. In the previous video, I have explained just we are recalling. In binary search, the search space is divided virtually into half, one fourth, one by eight, and so on using iteration. No duplicates allowed and array must be sorted. Now the search string is compared with the middle element. If the search key is not matched with the middle element, the array is further divided and gets compared. This process is continued till the search element is found or LB less than equal to UB is not satisfied. Now in binary search, we have six variables, the array, for example, names array, string array, search element, SRC, that is also string, Pause to store the index at which search element is found. Initially, it is minus 1. Lower bound LB to store 0 index. Upper bound UB to store size minus 1 index initially. And mid element to store the middle index. If at all the search element is present in the array, it will be found at mid index only. That is names of mid. Now, important string methods using, used in binary search. Three important string methods I discuss over here. String class is a built-in class. And the first method which I discuss right now is boolean equals and string as a parameter. Second one, boolean equals ignore case and string as a parameter. Third one is int compared to string as a parameter. Now, the very first one equals takes two strings. How does it take? Boolean equals is an instance method. Instance method means it is called from object. So, if s1 dot equals s2. S1 is an object of string class and stored string S1 is equal to J capital Java. String S2 is another object, all lowercase Java. Now equals is a case sensitive method means if S1 dot equals S2 returns false. Why? Because in S1, J is capital in S2, J is in lowercase. So, which returns true or false? The same thing can be used. Boolean X is equal to S1 dot X equals S2. Whatever is written, we can store in some variable of Boolean type. The second method is Boolean equals ignore case string. This is also instance method should be called with the help of an object. Now equals ignore case. Ignore means it is not case sensitive. So we call the function with the help of an object S1 or S2. In this case, S1 dot equals ignore case sending S2 as a parameter. It compares both of the strings without considering the case and in our case, Java, Java, so returns true. Now, before understanding int compared to, let's understand examples below those two boxes. We already know capital A to Z, Unicode values are from 65 to 90. Similarly, lowercase a to Z, 97 to 122. In string comparison, it compares each character with the help of Unicode. 
all capital characters are smaller compared to the lower case a to z characters now example 1 sahiti shamila in both the strings the very first character is capital s so no problems now it will check the second one in the first string second character is a and in the second string h so a's ascii value or unicode value is lesser than h's ascii value or unicode value so sahiti is a smaller string compared to sharmila second example amar arman in both the strings capital a is the first character so no problems but m as a second character in the second example and r is the second character in arman so m is having lower unicode value compared to r so amar is a smaller string now let's understand int compared to string this is also instance method with the help of an object it should be called takes string as a parameter and returns one integer integer may be returned integer may be 0 less than 0 or greater than 0 this particular compare to method is used in binary search and sorting programs to find out the lesser or greater than or equals to strings or comparing basically now there are two three forms here a b c in a we are using s1 and s3 objects what is there in s1 string s1 is equal to amar string s2 is equal to arman and s3 is amar again in a part if s1 dot compared to s3 s1 is amar s3 is amar both the strings are same then it returns zero how we will see with the help of an example and the same compared to can be used like this also uh, if amar within double quotes dot compared to within brackets again in double quotes amar no need of creating a variable this is also okay now internally what happens let's understand both the strings are having amar amar s1 and s3 First of all, it takes the Unicode value of first two characters, that is A. 65 and 65 subtracts. If the answer is 0, it checks the second character. M minus M, that is 109 minus 109. We don't have to remember all these things. Just for the sake of understanding, I am telling you. Then third character A and A. 97 minus 97, 0. So proceeds the next one. R minus R, 114 minus 114. So final answer is 0 if both the strings are same. And we are taking that 0 and comparing with 0 only. How if S1 dot compared to S3, this compared to function returns 0, that is 0 double equals to 0, then true. We are satisfied. That means both the strings are exactly same. Second way of using is if S1 dot compared to S2 less than 0. What is this? S1 is Amar. S2 is Arman. So, Amar minus Arman, each character's Unicode, it subtracts. A minus A is 65 minus 65 is 0. So, 0. So, proceeds to the next character. M and R. M's ASCII value is 109. Unicode value, ASCII value, same for the first 127 characters. 
So 109 minus 114, that is R, returns minus 5, that is less than 0. We don't have to worry about minus 5, minus 10, minus 10, 15, like that. As soon as there is a difference, it returns that number compared to returns minus 5. And we are checking less than 0. That means first string is smaller than second string in terms of Unicode values. How do we use? If S1 dot compared to S2. In our case, string SRC is one string. Binary search I am talking about. Compared to and Array of mid element, it could be M of mid, the names of mid, anything. And we compare W equals to 0 or less than 0. And the third part is else, that is greater than 0. But we can check C part if S2 dot compared to S1 greater than 0. S2 is Arman. S1 is Amar. A and A 65 minus 65, R is 114 Unicode, M's Unicode is 109, 114 minus 109 is greater than 0, 5, 10, doesn't matter, greater than 0. That means the first string is greater than second string. So we use this compared to function in our binary search. Binary search program on strings. See string employee is there. String SRC is there. This is valid for any data type. Let's suppose character array is there. Then car employee or whatever grades. And search element also character. If we are searching in a double data type array. Double array name and search element also double. Similarly, here we are searching in a string array. So string employee has so many strings, sorted and no duplicates. String search, but LB, UB, position and mid are integers. They are indices. Now the same program, while LB less than equal to UB, mid is equal to LB plus UB divided by 2. But this double equals to sign in if should be replaced with compared to and else if SRC less than, that less than sign should be replaced with compared to. That is the change, main change in the program, rest everything is same. So let's see the binary search program on strings. Some string M is the array. We are initializing BBC, GTV, MA movies, NTV, star movies. Search is reading a string SRC, LB equals to 0, UB, M dot, UB equals to M dot length minus 1, pause minus 1, mid. Our good old program while LB less than equal to UB, mid is equal to LB plus UB divided by 2. If SRC, the search element, dot compared to M of mid, M is the array, mid is the index, M of mid double equals to 0, then pause is equal to mid, break. In place of compared to in the first if statement, we may use equals ignore case or equals depending on the programmer's wish. For example, in this array, BBC can be lowercase also, uppercase also, it doesn't matter. So, while taking input only either lowercase or uppercase, we convert and M array has a like uppercase. In that case, equals ignore case or equals we can use because we are checking for equality in the first if. But in the second if, we have to use compared to function because less than greater than cannot be found by equals ignore case or equals method. So in else if, 
src dot compared to m of mid less than zero that means first string is smaller than the middle element in that case ub equals to mid minus one the previous video i have taken some several cases and i have explained else lb is equal to mid plus one and then if pause is still minus one not found else found Let's see the program in the Java environment. The contents of binary string are like this. String M, BBC, GTV, Ma movies, and so on and so forth. The same program compared to we have used here, compared to we have used here. And static void main is creating an object of binary string B1, new binary string and calling b1 dot search because it is an instance method okay we are giving let's suppose star is there any star over here star movies is there but not star so it should give us not phone let's execute and see the output So not found, star is not found. We can give proper messages also. Here we are concentrating on binary search algorithm. Control C, Control V. Let's suppose BBC. BBC is found at first position only. Although it is zero index, we said pause plus one, position plus one. So BBC found at one. BBC found at 1. Now, let's assume we are searching for NTV. Replace BBC with NTV and it is at 1, 2, 3, 4. Third index but fourth part. Okay. In that case, control K and execute the program main okay and ntv found at four this is about the binary search on strings let's see a practice exercise over here read an array of five strings in a method called input the array and the length of the array should be declared as instance variables read a search element from the user in a method called search and find the element using binary search. Call the methods in main method. Now, second one is read an array of five strings in a method called input. Read a search element in a search method. Declare the array and the length as local variables in main method and use parameter passing. Now, compare to or equals methods should be used with string only. Rest all data types can be compared with the help of greater than, less than, or double equals to sign. That is relational operators. Difference between linear and binary search. Linear search starts searching for an element from index 0 to last index, but binary search virtually divides the search space into half, one-fourth, one-by-eighth in a loop. Linear search is used when lesser number of elements are there in the array and binary search used with large arrays. Duplicate element, elements are allowed in the array in linear search, but binary search does not allow duplicate elements. And also the array need to be sorted in binary search, whereas in linear search need not be sorted. Now time complexity in the previous video also we have discussed. Linear search best case is O1 and worst case is ON. N is the input size. Let's suppose 16 lakh elements are there. Finding it may worst case, that means the element is not found or at the end of the array, 16 lakh times it works. 
Whereas time complexity of uh, uh, binary search, best case is O1 only, that is in the middle element, first time only we found. Worst case is O log n, that is 16 lakh elements are there in the array, then at the most 20 search times, 20 times the search algorithm works. So, compared to 16 lakh and 20, see the difference. Very efficient algorithm. But complex algorithm and binary search is very fast compared to linear search. And also linear search is an easier algorithm compared to binary search. Refer chapter 7 of Essentials of Computer Applications for further understanding and practice exercises. The next video is on sorting a one-dimensional array using bubble sort. Thank you.